Let's go overseas now. Vladimir Putin claims that the battle for the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut is now over, congratulating his soldiers and the mercenary group Wagner, who fought on their behalf. But at the G7 summit in Japan, the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, insisted that his soldiers were still fighting. <laughs> The picture could not be clearer. Wagner forces waving flags triumphantly atop of devastated buildings in Bakhmut. Leader of the mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, seen here congratulating his men outside the train station in the center, claims Russian forces have now captured the entire city. 224 days. There was an inevitability about this moment. We visited Ukrainian defensive positions near the city a few days ago, and the defenders' hold appeared to be slipping in the face of advancing Russian forces. A few kilometres from Bakhmut at the moment, there's quite a lot of incoming shells, which we're hearing crashing around this position at the moment, but this is what it's like night and day, the soldiers say, it's just constant. This battle has gone on for months. We last got inside Bakhmut at the end of January. Every building was damaged by the fighting. The city has seen the fiercest urban combat since World War II. In Japan, for the G7, Volodymyr Zelensky, who was meeting with the US president, acknowledged the situation was desperate, but later maintained Ukraine would keep up its defense. We have to, to understand that there is nothing. They destroyed everything. There are no buildings. It's a pity, it's tragedy, but for, for today, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. But the horrific battle for Bakhmut will not decide the outcome of this conflict. It is of limited strategic value. What's happened here is, though, a blow for Ukraine. It's invested huge amounts of resource in its defence. Russia's declaration of victory comes, though, at an enormous cost. Moscow has won a place of ruination. Tens of thousands of Russian soldiers have been killed here and there's nothing left in the city. It is absolutely devastated. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Eastern Ukraine.